How much did they first pay you to give up on your dreams? And when were you going to stop and come back and do what makes you happy? I see guys who work at the same company for their entire lives. They clock in, they clock out, and they never have a moment of happiness. You have an opportunity. This is a rebirth. Most people, when they die, you can literally put under their names, dead but not used up yet. Because most people go through life holding back, not giving their all. 85% of people in life allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. See, we're not supposed to tuck our dreams in on the pillow when we get up in the morning. We're not supposed to leave them at home and go and fulfill somebody else's dream. We're not supposed to do that. That's not what we're wired to do. That's not who we are. Your human spirit doesn't care about the economy. The human spirit doesn't care about the past. Your human spirit doesn't care about any of that. Your human spirit simply says, what's our command for tomorrow? What do you want to create? It's not keeping score. Your brain is keeping score because your brain is designed to keep you safe. Your soul, your intuition, your human spirit is designed to make you soar. And when you get to the edge of that stage, your brain will always tell you to step back because you can fall. So you have to be willing to play between your brain and your soul. And on some days, you gotta just listen to your soul. And you gotta say, I'm a leap. Because only three things can happen. You're either gonna jump and fly, or you're gonna jump and fall on something soft. Are you going to fall down hard? Either way, you're going to get back up. You already know you got what it takes to get back up. See, if you want to make it in life, here's how you can begin to make your goal, ladies and gentlemen. Decide to make your life a great experiment. Most people want to be perfect when they come out the gate. Most people want to do things right all the time. You're not going to do everything right. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to have a lot of failures. You're going to have a lot of struggles. You're going to feel dumb and ask questions and don't know what to do or where to go. And that's part of growing. That's part of the experimentation process. See, life is about living. Life is about growing. Life is about challenging yourself. Life is about stretching. What if you don't make it? So what? I'm enjoying the trip. You only live once. So do what you feel passionate about. Take chances. Don't be afraid to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. This is your time. This is your moment. Your destiny is calling out to you. You have to make up your mind. You're not gonna let people talk you out of it. Circumstances discourage you. Delays cause you to give up. You're going to stay focused on your goal. If there's something you want to do, don't live like you have a thousand years to live. Decide that you're going to experiment with your life. Decide that you're going to take some chances. This dream that you're thinking about, this goal that you have in your mind, this vision that you have of yourself, if you embrace this, ladies and gentlemen, it will change your life. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming out tonight. Uh, this is John Johnson. I'm really excited about this training slash prospect call slash whatever you want to call it. Uh, tonight, we're going to cover quite a bit uh, in a short presentation, actually. But one thing I want to ask everybody on this call, those listening now, those who will listen later, is where are you going to be when this goes viral? And what do I mean when this goes viral? I mean exactly what I said, when this goes viral. Many of us have already seen the card. If you haven't seen the card, get what the person has sent this to you and have them show you what the card's going to feature. Uh, the Bluetooth, the speakers, the mic, the screen, all of the cool gadgets that the card has, the attached bank account, all that kind of stuff. The discounts of hundreds of thousands of merchants. All these things you're going to see on this amazing card. When this goes viral, where will you be? That's it. Biggest question you need to ask yourselves because I'm going to go through this. I'm jumping right into to it, and yes, I am. Right into the 3 by 10 matrix. Why? Because this matrix is unlike any other matrix. What do I mean by that? I'm talking about the mirrored customer matrix tonight, not the charter member matrix. If you want to learn about the charter ma member matrix, talk to a charter member, find out all about it. But what I'm telling you tonight should stick in your minds like, I mean, it should be in there. 
this is what all of us should be shooting for come January 6, 2020. We have something so phenomenal. You pull this card out of your pocket, you swipe this sucker, you touch the screen, you swipe and show which card you want to spend from you, do all of that kind of stuff. That person watching you do this is going to say, holy whatever, what is that? The people behind you, what in the world is that thing? Everybody you show that to, where did you get it? Where did you get it? I'm getting that now when I describe the card. I, I wonder what's going to happen when I actually pull that sucker out of my pocket. This is the power of what we're doing. Customer matrix. How many people will be swiping for you on January 6th of 2020? That's a question that should be burning in all of our minds. Because let's just talk about strictly customers. We're getting paid one-tenth of one percent every time somebody swipe, swipes on that debit side. Okay. There'll be other things coming, all sorts of fun stuff. There's numerous ways to get paid in this company, through our auto, through mortgages, through all sorts of different things, but we're just focused on the customer for this slide. We've heard this before. What if three get three and three get three and three get three? Okay, that's what we're talking about. What if three gets three if they pay a monthly fee? What if three gets three if they buy this expensive product? That's not what I'm talking about right here. Do you think that... The average person can pull that card out of his and her pocket and get three people interesting in purchase, interested in purchasing that card one time with no monthly fee for $149 retail, save a whole lot of money when they're swiping that sucker at hundreds of thousands of merchants all over the place, and we're paying the person $25 to refer somebody, and we're paying that person one-tenth of one percent every time they refer somebody, whoever swipes it. Of course, they're going to share this card. This sucker is going viral. So let's say we sign up right now. And let me tell you why it's so important to sign up now and to teach this to every single human being you talk to. Even animals. I don't care. Sell your dogs. Sell your cats. Sell everybody. Because here's what we, we're missing. We're missing this. If the, that one person pulls that card out and he or she gets three people within 30 days because a, we're paying them to do it. There's no monthly fee for these customers, zero. So where's the risk? They're purchasing something one time for 149 bucks. They're getting paid 25 bucks and every time someone swipes that card. We're giving them a lot of motivation, a lot of incentive to share it, something that they'll probably share anyway. So we come in in January 6th, we only have three people do that. In 30 days, they're able to share it with three people. You repeat that 30 days, 30 days for 10 months, you would fill up an entire matrix, 88,569 people. What if you had 10 people on January 6th and you did the same trajectory? You'd have 885,730 customers. Customers, I can tell you right now, our team's just got under 3,900 customers. It is July. We still have five and a half months left. How many people will we have by January? Do you want to be that person start with your first person in January? No, absolutely not. There's 130 million people here in the United States. Okay, every country has so many people. This will become saturated at some point. Get in before the saturation. That's what I'm saying. I, and I hammer this point home and hammer it, hammer it, because you want to get in before the growth. You're paying 38 bucks a month to do this. You get a save. From day one, you get to save money. Make that $38 back. Go buy a dinner. Go stay at a hotel for one night. Go do whatever it is you want to do. Save that money. Make it back. But don't think about the $38. Bucks. Think about being in front of the saturation. Be in front of the growth before it saturates because it's going to happen. Now, let me tell you something. If you only have one person on January and all these customers start falling underneath you, guess what? Look at that arrow. You're only going to get paid on three of them. If you only have two people, you're only going to get paid on nine and three. You'll get paid up to 12 people. That's why 10 in the pen is crucial. It is essential. We should all be laser focused on getting our 10 and helping others get 10 in the pen. And what does that mean? We're helping 10 people save more than they spend. That's what we're doing. And if there's not as many places to save in your area, so what? It's coming. You're going to have the ability to sign people up for free. Mom and pop stores. So think about this. You can get in front of this growth, in front of the saturation. You can save money. You can help local businesses offer discounts 
free word of mouth marketing. You can do, there's so many ways you can give back. And we're going to talk about a lot of features of this car tonight and what it means for you as people coming into this business and how you approach people on how to do this. But think about that. Don't even think about the charter matrix right now. That's for another discussion. Think about the mirrored customer matrix. Because I'm telling you right now, the mirrored customer matrix will probably grow 10 times faster, maybe even more than the charter member matrix. See, these are people who are going to retail this card. Boom, 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 boom. It is phenomenal what we're standing in front of right now. So let's talk about when we go and we share it with other people. Share it, not sell it. Know your venue, testimonials. Don't throw up on people. What does all of this mean? Well, first of all, here's all the people you can share it with people. You know, I've signed up four people in the last two days. I've got somebody else signing up tomorrow. I already signed up over 70 something. I'm close to 80 people now. 10 people, if you put effort into it, you can get the 10 because I'm showing them how to save money. That's how I lead with this. People you know, social media, testimonials, businesses, ads, paid ads, spending time with your team, training, learning. Once you get your people trained, trained, trained. When I'm signing people up right now, I'm not putting them under myself. I'm putting them uh, under people I've already signed up right now. I've already given up three people in the last day. I'm giving up the person tomorrow. And I, I don't really say giving up because they're joining my team. But when you share this stuff and you go on to social media and you talk about that, we'll talk a lot about social media here in a minute. But when you share this, make sure you're sharing it and you're not selling it. What do I mean by that? I approached somebody today and I said, hey, listen. I said, You've told me in the past, you know, every once in a while, uh, you go places because they offer a discount. They offer coupons. Yeah, yeah, I have. Okay, perfect. I found a place that offers you all sorts of discounts all over the place. You got to check this out. Okay, cool. That's what I led with. That was the approach. 15 seconds. Signed her up. 20 minutes into it, signed her up. Charter member. Just like that. That was my approach. I knew I had listened to a conversation we had in the past, and I jumped on it. That was the approach. I didn't, she hasn't even seen the matrix yet. She doesn't even know all the ways to make money yet. All she knows is, hey, I'm saving up for this portal. She likes the product. I told her some of the things that are coming with the auto and all that kind of stuff. And she's like, wow, that's really cool. And then I sold her on what I just sold you or spoke with you about, about getting in before January. That was my entire pitch. That's not a sales pitch. I shared it. That kind of stuff. And then know your venue. Let's talk about venues. Let's talk about our team Facebook page. On our team Facebook page, we're promoting, we're sharing. It's not a customer support page. It's not that customer support, customer support, support at rnetwork.io. Upline, private message, all that. In within the venue that you are in, play nice within that venue. That's what you do. Because that venue is there for you to build and to promote. Testimonials, our testimonial page. Dave had a great training today. I caught about half of it. I wish I would have caught the whole thing, but I caught half of it. He was talking about our world. Our world is a phenomenal place. We have a place here as well, a testimonial page, where you can have validation from people outside of yourself that you share that with and say, look, look at these hundreds of people, if not thousands of people that are saving money. Don't listen to me. I don't know anything. I'm your friend. What do I know? Check this out. Look at this. Share that kind of stuff with them. The average human being needs seven to eight touches before they buy into something. That's a fact. I mean, it, it, there's been so much research on that. Seven to eight touches. They've got to see this. They've got to see that. A little bit here, a little bit there. If it's presented correctly, maybe less touches. But you've got to learn how to share this thing and not sell this thing because what are we selling? We're not selling this one product. We're sharing an opportunity that is absolutely out of this world phenomenal. It's amazing. We have this card that the world's never seen, and they'll say, oh, that's another smart card. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Smart cards aren't attached to digital banks. Smart cards don't have all the other stuff. This card's going to have it. I'm not going to get into everything that's on this card yet because I don't think corporate wants me to share it all right now. But this is far and above an average smart card. How many smart cards are paying you a commission per swipe, per debit swipe? and all that kind of stuff. It's not happening. How many smart cards are being sold by Walmart? Walmart's picking this up uh, middle of next year. Actually, a little second, probably late second quarter of next year, um, Walmart's going to be selling this. We own the technology. It'll be the same card under a different name, 
without all the perks. What I mean by that, it won't be attached to the bank, you won't receive commission on it, you're gonna pay $8 a month as a customer to receive less benefits. Who's gonna sell more cards? Us or Walmart? We are. That's what this is, is a distribution network. We're, we're, we are creating a lot of momentum, we're bringing a lot of people who will be swiping this card next year, and what's gonna happen? As our network grows, we leverage the power of our network and we go in there and we get bigger discounts at bigger places and smaller places. Have you guys ever bought anything in bulk? How much money did you save by buying things in bulk? Have you ever uh, paid a, I don't know, shop co, your membership at shop co, because you're receiving an immediate benefit. You might receive some discounts. You get a better pricing because you're paying for it. That's what this is. You're paying for better pricing. You're paying for discounts, but you're paying for discounts at all sorts of places. And if there's only a few places here and there where you're at, that's because we just started. It's a foundation, it's the beginning. You see where this is headed? You see where this is going? Use the testimonials, show your savings, show your friends' savings, show the savings on our world and on our savings page and all that kind of stuff. And make sure when you're promoting this, within the venue that you're in, stick within the parameters of that venue. Let's talk a lot about social media. It was funny, I, I, I was meeting with Fusion 360 today. Um, I went and you guys will be happy, I went and paid him. <laughs> so everything's good. Four weeks guys, four weeks and our website's built. Four weeks, middle of August is what it was looking at, like really exciting. Uh, but anyway, we talked a lot about social media. And when I was talking to Mar Marcus over there, I'm saying, I'm Marcus, I said, I'm doing a training tonight and I'm teaching a concept that I've taught for a long, long time. Social media is about engagement. It's not about selling. Nobody wants to be sold on your Facebook page. Nobody wants to be sold on your YouTube channel. They don't. It is social, keyword, media. Social. They're there for the social experience. They're there to be engaged. So you don't go in there and say, hey, come join my team. If I give you $50 for giving me $38, would you do it? Sounds like a sales pitch to me. Earn passive income here. Looking for 10 leaders. Want to earn a little more? Why? This is the best online opportunity I've ever seen. Those are not engagements. Those are ads. Those do not belong on social media. Let's look over here on the left. I just keep saving money every time I travel. Holy cow. I just saved money again at one of my favorite restaurants. This is getting nuts. Am I the only one doing this? I keep saving money on little things. Man, but is it adding up? What the heck? I just saved X amount on a new car. You're totally not going to believe this, but I think I just saved 20% shopping online. This is getting crazy, people. Oh my goodness, I keep saving money all over the place. Wow, I mean, wow. Create a conversation. Conversation starters. Engagement. Got to engage your friends. These are your friends. These are your family members. Be excited about something. Don't go to your friend and say, hey, Joe, I would absolutely love to recruit you into my business because it's awesome. You don't want to do that. When's the next time you're going to hear from Joe? Hey, Joe, holy cow, I just saved $5,000 on my car. Holy cow. Think about the difference. Think about the difference. How does that second one sound compared to the first one? Engagement is the key on all social media. Strike up, start up a conversation. Then you go in and you talk to them about specifics. Then you start sharing a little bit more and a little bit more. You ask a few questions. Then you say, hey, what is it you're looking for? I just saved money online. What places do you shop for online? Oh, I don't know. I shop here. I shop there. Okay, great. Well, you know what? Hey, you can save money online here because what are we rolling out soon, everybody? The gift cards online for discounts where you'll be able to redeem them at online vendors all over the place. What are we rolling out soon? The cars. If you know somebody's buying a car, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, don't, don't buy that car yet. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. You got to see this. Before you buy that car, check this out. Find that common ground. Find what's going to attract them to you, to your opportunity. 
that's what you do. Don't force it on them. Don't sell them. Social media, nothing should ever be sold on social media, ever. It should be shared in the form of engagement. It's a conversation. That's how you do social media. The people that do well on social media, that's what they do. They share things. Here's a whole other thing. For any new person who's hearing about this for the first time or any member that's you know stuck in the box or whatever, listen to this next part. Believe me, I know something about this next part. I, I have been an employer. I have been a franchisee. I own two clinics. We had about 80 plus employees up in Park City, up in Murray, Utah. Over 80 employees. Believe you me when I tell you this, employees like recognition. Employees love perks. They love it. Not just their salary, not just their per hour. They love perks. And there is article after article after article of proof of this. When we put ourselves in a box and we don't think about this, first of all, what did we say when we first started this call? Get out in front of the growth and the saturation. Do not make the mistake of marketing this after it saturates. It's too hard. It's too hard. I'm in Salt Lake. The real estate market is booming out here. The agents that are getting now versus the agents that got in years ago, guess who's getting all the listings and all the work? It's too saturated for the new guy. It's tough. Don't make it hard for yourself. Get in now and work your butt off for the next five and a half months and get in front of all of that. But check this out. Why employee perks matter more than you think? And believe you me, they do. I have employers right now. I talked to another one this morning. I talk to them all the time, and I'm not even trying yet. But the word's kind of already getting out there. You see what's going on? It's already getting out there. You know we can use this as a payroll card? Their employees can swipe this card, and they, that employer can sign up every single one of their employees as a customer and receive a commission every time their employees swipe that card. You don't think employers are going to do that? Of course they are. My phone rings off the hook. I have people underneath me bringing me employers all the time. They're saying, hey, when can I approach so-and-so and so-and-so? -and -so? Get out in front of this. Start put writing down all the companies you want to go to. Talk to their HR departments. For your employees, we can give you guys this card. You can buy it for your employee for $149 every time your employee swipes. You make 10 basis points, one-tenth of 1%. 1 oh, and by the way, your employee is saving all this money at all these places and guess who they're going to think they're going to thank you employer for giving them this awesome benefit and you're going to thank them for swiping it and spending money making you commission on the back end that's what's going to happen and guess what every time their employees share it with somebody if that employer becomes a charter member guess what that employer will also make money off of the employees referrals as well see how big this is it doesn't stop with your mom and your dad or your brother or your sister. Anybody is a potential customer. So many millions of potential customers. We are in right now with about 7,000 charter members company-wide. 7,000. How many people are in the U.S.? 130 million. How many people will want this card? Think about it. Do not get discouraged if you only have one or two people right now. Look at that chart with three people when your customers start. It will be easier, yes. Granted, it will be easier to get 10 people once the cards here. Of course it will. But that's not the challenge. The challenge is take the challenge now and say, listen, I want to get the dreamers. I want to get the visionaries. I want to get the leaders now. Because I don't want three people in January. I want 300 people. I want 3,000 people. I want 30,000 people. Because every single person swiping that card is literally an income to you. It's a, another stream of income. Multiple, multiple streams of income. Go to the employers. Show them the benefits of the payroll card. You know you can send money back and forth on this card, kind of like a Venmo or a PayPal. Lesser fees. How many people do you know? Ask people, hey, do you ever use Venmo? Do, I, do you ever use PayPal? There's a lead into this. That gives you an excuse to talk about this. Is a card here yet? No. Does it matter? No. 
because you say that's what starts as a conversation starter. Hey, do you ever use Venmo? Yep. Ah, oh, have I got something I got to share with you? Do you ever use PayPal? Oh my goodness, do I need? Do we need to talk? Let's talk. Are you going to buy a car in the next five years? Probably. Let's chat. That's those are conversation starters. That's how you break the ice. That's all you've got to do. And then what you do is you come in and then you start sharing some of the places you save. If there's any charter member right now that have local areas in their area, local savings places or vendors or merchants in their areas that they haven't used yet, go out and use them. Go get a couple of testimonials and then show, hey, keep the receipts, keep them. Say, hey, check this out, I saved, it's real, I saved. Check out this website over here, the testimonials, our world, and all these, look at all these people saving money. I'm not BSing you, look at all of these people saving money. That's what you do. All conversation starters. Social media, start with engagement. Okay, customers get paid on other customers only. Do you wanna be a customer? Because you're probably going to be, when you see this card, a lot of people are gonna buy it. Customers get paid on other customers only. But now start looking a little deeper. You see a little bit more. Charter members get paid on all of it. You get 10 in the pen before January. You will get paid on an infinite levels of customers. I will say that again. Infinite levels of customers. Why? Because every customer underneath you will only be paid frontline to their customers. That's it, that's the only commission they'll make. You will gobble the rest of it up. Open your eyes a little more, just a little more. That's what happens. Stop thinking just charter member. Also think customer and get in front of that. If you are not excited right now, you best get excited. I don't care if you have three people by January, 10, 20, it, it doesn't matter that what matters is you're a charter member before January. You know, in January, to become a charter member, you're going to have to get 10 customers prior to becoming a charter member. Don't wait, don't sit on it. Don't, I, I see people inactive right now in my downline and I shake my head like, what are they thinking? Where are they missing it? Who signed them up? I want to reach out to these people so bad. Who signed you up? What have they not shared with you? What are you missing? What are they missing? 7,000 people in something that could potentially be in the hands of millions and millions of people from charter members to businesses to customers. Do you want to be in front of it? I certainly do. I certainly do. You talk to the people. You schedule appointments to follow up. You share with them what they're looking for. The best salespeople in the world, they deliver on what people are looking for. Four. They don't cram stuff into a little box and try to shove stuff down people's throats. Do people like saving money? Of course they do. We all like saving money. Testimonials share. Do we like saving for, on cars? Yes. When those roll out, let's talk about it. Do we like saving money at restaurants? Yes. Let's talk about it. Do we, we love an opportunity to go to our favorite place and sign them up and say, hey, guess what? For free, all these worries that you have in your head right now about bringing in customers and not having a huge marketing budget, guess what? I can plug you into a network of people for free that can come and visit you, you know, as often as they can and save money. And all you have to do is sign up for this portal for free and put in your offer exclusive to us. You have the opportunity to do that, to give back to those people that may or may not be struggling. I've seen it happen. I've seen many members already share testimonials of companies that are going to sign up as soon as they're allowed to. It's already happening. And some members are literally sitting on their hands like, okay, well, I just, I'm going to wait for this. I'm going to wait for that. No, you're not. Stop it. Do yourself a favor and stop. Stop waiting. Don't hesitate. You see the vision. Get up and get to work. I've seen the vision. And, and Dave mentioned something today, and, and I want to echo him. I want to congratulate him. I think he did a phenomenal call. When you approach somebody, where's your excitement level? And what's the plan? What are you approaching them with? Are you approaching them with, hey, this is how we're going to build this together. 
Let's have a plan. Let's sit down and let's map out all the businesses we're going to visit together. Right now, you should be looking for your three to 10 people who want to build a business, not who want to be customers. You shouldn't be begging. What are you begging people to sign up for? But what, you're, you're the one doing them a huge favor. This is phenomenal. You're saving them money. You're giving them an opportunity. I get checks every single Monday. Check after check after check after check. I'm not going to tell you guys how much I'm making so far, but I can tell you right now, it's a lot more than $38. That's for sure. It works. This works. All we've ever wanted is something that works, something that's real, a product we can be proud of, something we can stand behind. We've got it. It's right here in front of us. That's what we've got to do. It's called our network. People helping people. People helping people save. People helping people share. Helping local businesses grow. Receiving discounts from major merchants. More discounts to come. We're in pre-launch. That's one thing I think a lot of people forget. We're in pre-launch and everybody wants everything now. Oh, you better talk about this today or this today or we better have this tomorrow. That's not how it works. We launch January 6th. We're in pre-launch. Right now is about positioning. It's getting yourself in front of that growth, in front of that saturation. If you believe in this product as much as I do, you better get in and get going. Because I do not want to be that member that starts in January, way behind everybody else because I waited. And I don't want to be that prospect that's sitting on the fence while I'm waiting for this. Waiting for what? We're getting real checks. We're sharing real testimonials. We're getting real savings. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Get in, get in now, and let our network take you into 2020. And that tonight, friends, is pretty much all I've got to say. We will see you Thursday night.